Hey guys, it's Ogard here, back again with another review, and today we're having a look at the Transformers 4 Age of Extinction. This is part of the Generations line. Today we're having a look at Deluxe Class Scorn. Now, uh, this is one of the two uh, Wave 1 Deluxes I picked up, uh, just because he's a freaking Spinosaurus, and he's really cool looking. Um, get myself adjusted here for the review. Alrighty, so uh, having a closer look at him, uh, he is really awesome. He's got uh, some nice detailing throughout him. Uh, he's got some nice orange um, markings on his body in Dino Mode. He's, his tail is made out of a soft, rubbery plastic. Um, really, everything is just red plastic for the most part. He's got some nice red uh, in the little sail here, the spine dealy there. It's a Spinosaurus. So that's why he's got that ginormous thing there. Um, nice blue in the eyes. I almost wish they were green. Something else. I don't know. I think his eyes could have been a little more smaller maybe. I don't know. They don't look that fierce to me. But he does have an opening jaw. Oh. Starting off with the articulation. And he does have a hinge here, and then you move half the neck with it, so I'm willing to do that. And he also has up and down, and again, moving the neck with it. Um, I just keep it like that. Um, he's also got a swivel down here, which doesn't move anything uh, in the neck region. I originally, I thought this would just fold up against his chin. Or like a beard thing, but apparently it doesn't. I learned my lesson. Um, he's also got ball joints in the arms. Uh, so that's good. No hinge in the elbow or anything. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, he's got ball joints in the hips here. As well as uh, double hinged in the legs. This part moves as well, but it's sort of due to transformation. So you can make him taller. Or shorter. I keep them all the way folded up most of the time, unless he doesn't want to stand. Which, in many cases, I just straighten them out a little teeny bit. And his tail is pretty much static. It does have a sore stashed in there. Um, I've seen some people do it this way. When they store it in there like that. But that doesn't really... I don't know, I think they could have made the slot in there a little bit tighter. But, um, yeah, Scorn overall is probably my favorite dino mode that I have. Uh, the only other dino bot I have is um, Slug here, with his sword stashed on him. In him, more or less. As you can see, uh, Scorn is significantly taller than Slug. I think Slug, A, could have been bigger, or B, flat-up Voyager class. I don't know. He doesn't seem like he'd be that big. I mean, we're getting, um, not Slash, Snarl, and he's a Stegosaurus. He's, I believe, going to be a Deluxe class. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe that's to scale. But I will talk about that in Slug's review coming up next so uh, scoring here the dino mode is pretty cool but now it's time to transform him into robot mode and with the power of movie magic we will speed up the process because I seem to lag sometimes so uh, enjoy <laughs>
so we're back and we now have Scorn in his robot mode. Um, pretty awesome robot mode in all honesty. Probably my favorite out of the two. Uh, but I do really like Slug's giant guar looking shoulder pads. A uh, quick size comparison between the two. They are the same height. <coughs> and Slug is a lot bulkier. At least I think, anyway. But, um, yeah, he's, a uh, he's like the... i say Slug's the brute. And this guy's sort of the, uh... I wouldn't say stealthy. i say Strafe is more of that. He's more of the... He's more of the knight. And, uh, his sword can be held in this hand here. Like that. And there you go. So, get a closer look at him in uh, robot mode. Uh, he does have a ball jointed head. Sort of limited, but you know, what are you gonna do? He's got a swivel in the shoulder, uh, hinge in and outward here. So you can get him in some other poses. So with the bicep, hinge and elbow. Another hinge down here. Uh, Generation Skullgrin also has that. Of course the mascot. He's got a hinge in the hand. And uh, the jaw is actually supposed to act as a shield robot mode, but I just leave it closed. And if you wanted to, you can take that out and then adjust everything here. I'm trying to figure out where everything goes. So you get his head back into dino mode position. And you can sort of make him like a Beast Wars Megatron in the sense that you can give him a dino head hand. Which I think is pretty cool. So, uh, there's that, but I don't really like modding stuff unless it's absolutely necessary. But they do give you the hand to hold the sword. So maybe that was intentional. Maybe he does do that. I don't know. I haven't seen the movie yet. Um, same over here, except he doesn't have the extra joints uh, and the lance, because it is made of soft rubber. But uh, it's kind of cool. He has a lance arm. A uh, lance arm strong. Won't talk about that. But <laughs> uh, would have been cool maybe to see a hand underneath here or something to hold the I don't know maybe this could have been a separate piece altogether but would have been way too complicated he's got limited waist movement uh, ball jointed hips can move forward and back pretty easily even with the dino arms in there I'll tell you how I did that um, he's got a swivel at the the thigh yeah double jointed knees there's one up there and then there's one down here if you need it and this hinges for uh, robot mode purposes. And uh, these can collapse. You can give them skinny legs or you can give them thicker legs. I like to give them the thicker legs. Even though I'm not really a fan of stuff that does that, it does make it look a little better. And we'll lean them forward a bit here. And then on the back here, you can see that the part that had the arms, I have folded up against his buttocks there. And I have the arms tucked in here. Uh, gives off less kibble. Surprised nobody thought it. I thought that was how it's supposed to go. Apparently it's not. I just modded it. 
So that's a mod I intend to stick with um, when I have them on display. So that's a cool little trick there. Whoa. This leg don't want to go that way. There we go. I was trying to get them adjusted here. I suppose that works. And forward. And there we go. So, uh, Deluxe Class Scorn overall is a great figure. Highly recommend him. So far, he's my favorite. I think he's flawless, so I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. It's perfect. Uh, Dinobot figure, a fun Dinobot figure, a fine Dinobot figure. And if you're looking for this guy, I recommend you check um, Toys R Us and Kmart, because Walmart and Target jumped on the weak early bandwagon, and chances are they ain't going to have jack squat. So, want this guy, get him at Toys R Us or Kmart. That's where I found him. Um, I got him at Toys R Us, but I also saw him at Kmart when I went to pick up uh, we'll Look for Slug, which luckily they had a couple of him there. And uh, this guy is also a fan favorite, so that means he's pretty limited at the moment. So... You know, I have this guy. I recommend you rush out and try to get him. So, if you guys enjoyed my review of the Transformers Age of Extinction, Deluxe Class Scorn, um, don't forget to check out my review of Slug. It'll be uploaded right after this one. Stay tuned for the gallery of Dinobot and Robot Mode images that I decided to take, because, well, I can. And, um,. Stay tuned, I got more figure reviews on the way, um, I don't know what it could be, I could possibly start doing the DC figures earlier than I suspected, but it depends, I might even get crosshairs, so we'll just see uh, what the future brings, and uh, stay tuned for more reviews as usual, and until next time, I will uh, catch you guys later.